spring because there's people on the train but um, I'm on my way to Paris I'm going to Morocco tomorrow so I'm just literally on my way there to go meet my boyfriend because he got an earlier train I was just so tired and I physically could not get up um, literally had the most hectic past week you could possibly think of because I lost my passport and yeah I literally had no passport so I didn't really know if I was gonna end up going to Morocco or not um, but I did go to the embassy yesterday and I've got my temporary passport so yeah I'm literally on my way to Paris fun fact I, I don't actually have a British passport I only have a Belgian passport so I just travel back and forth usually from Paris with my ID card um, I can travel anywhere in Europe I believe with my ID card but this outside of Europe I need my passport and oh my god guys I have a story time to tell you right so basically <laughs> this was like this was like two weeks ago and I was going to Paris for fashion week because I was hosting a dinner with trap staff and I'm minding my black business I get on the coach and I had a black Prada bike because I just bought these new like Prada loafers and I put my black, black Prada bag on top of these things so everything's good I'm minding my business reading my book everything's good I see like four officers walk up and down the train and everyone's kind of looking at the officers thinking what's going on you know I was panicking a little bit or whatever thinking what on earth is going on little did I know mind my business like this officer taps me on my shoulders and he's like you come with me i said who me i'm like what what have i done now because it's just always something in my life like i swear if i wish you know i just wish i had a camera i had i wish i had someone to record me and like walk around with me to show you guys the stress and drama and like things I go through on a day to day basis because I genuinely don't think there's been one day in the past like year that nothing's happened in a day like there's just always something always something so anyway the officer taps my shoulders now thinking ah, who me and I'm, he's like come come with me I'm thinking what have I done like what have I done now I follow him and he's like bring all your bags with you i'm thinking yeah this is me done this is me done and i'm thinking and i'm like what have i what have i actually done that was like criminal you know i'm not the most perfect person but not exactly a criminal either so i follow the officer and then he's like um what's in your bags i'm like clothes shoes i don't know what would you want there to be in my bag i'm like you can go through my bags if you want to He's like, what's in the Prada bag? I'm like, shoes that I bought. He's like, do you plan on wearing them? I'm like, yeah, I bought them. What do you think I'm gonna do? Put them on my head. He's like, um, you have to pay VAT for them because of Brexit or whatever, whatnot. I'm like, I don't need to pay VAT for anything because I'm not British, I'm Belgian. So Brexit and me are not mates. We're not involved, I don't have to do any of that. I'm not part of it and I know my rights one thing about me i know my rights so you can't can't come and tell me that i need to pay vat on my prada shoes when i'm not part i'm not part of Brexit. i'm not british so this does not make it that doesn't make any sense and the craziest part is is they would walk up and down the whole carriage to find to look for shopping bags and literally when they see that you have like an expensive shopping bag they will come and tap you on your shoulder and come and collect payment in this recession in this recession you don't just have a little bit of shame a little bit of shame in all the things you could possibly be doing for, with your time all you care about is milking people's money like <sighs> shit gets me tight and then and then i go back so i go back to my seat now minding my black business as i do because i didn't do anything wrong and i was right because i didn't have to pay anything because i'm not british i see i 
I sit on my seat now and there's a person in front of me who's like oh what happened and I obviously told him the story he was like oh I thought it was something worse I would have had a criminal story to tell my wife tonight I was like no just police trying to steal my money as you know usual as they do so yeah that was that that was last time I came to Paris that was like two or three weeks ago but it just goes to show the lengths the lengths that the, the lengths that the world has come to like everything is just about finesse like everything is just a finesse you just breathe and 20 pounds gone you just drink and boom and there's a hundred thousand pound fine that you need to pay like oh my god can i live can i just live a little bit a little just a little bit before we get into the video i'm going to stop here with a mini ad break from nasty girl i'm going to show you guys some bits and bobs that i got from them and these are so key if you want to go on holiday as well they're just like essential bits that you need they're just like essential holiday bits. I have some wintery bits as we're getting into autumn and winter. And yeah, I just thought I would try them on and show you guys so that you can go ahead and shop on Nasty Girl. So first and foremost, I got this cute cardigan. I love cardigans. I feel like they just look so cute. And like they make a basic outfit look more cute and you know girly. Really love this. The material feels so so nice and it's warm and cozy for autumn and winter coming up if you just want to like jazz up your outfit. I just find this so cute. And I got a size small in this for reference. Next up I got another cardigan from Nasty Girl. How cute! Oh my god. This is so cute. It's literally giving me what's that movie? Is it it's not mean girls, is it mean girls? No, it's clueless. It's giving me clueless vibes. So yeah, I love this. This is also from Nasty Girl. Yeah, I really want to be girly this winter. I want to dress cute. This cardigan is also in a size small. Next, next up, I got these pants. I just thought that they look like they fit so well. And this is what they look like. They fit so nice. I literally don't have cargos that fit like this. And they make your bum look so cute. Oh my god, these are probably my new favorite cargos. These are just bomb.com i like how you can dress these up or you can dress these down they're very much giving what it's supposed to give then you cannot go wrong with a nice bodysuit absolutely love the fit of this feels really feels like really really good material and i just love a plain bodysuit it just looks so classy and clean and you just you can't go wrong with like cute little accessories of this so guys just got to paris this is just the hotel that we're staying for one night so yeah Ew. <laughs> guys it's the morning of our flight and What's i've never it, shut the fuck up i've never dressed so congolese in my life <laughs> Hermès, uh... Le Vuitton bleu, le Vuitton marron. <laughs> le Prada. Bro, Putain, I've got the Hermes claquette. I've got this, these leggings, the Prada. It's just a lot going on. The Louis Vuitton. This doesn't even go. I only knew I was coming to Morocco yesterday. I packed in literally 20 minutes and I have no outfits. Now I'm just dressed like a Congolese auntie. Yeah, do you with, your, with your Ferrari leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Si j'étais toi, <laughs> si j'étais toi, je fermerais bien ma bouche. Laisse-moi pas commencer sur toi. Anyways, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is the most Congolese fit I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're the never... fashion police. Uh, Anyways, guys, it's seven. It's seven thirty in the morning. Seven thirty in the morning. I'm really, really hungry. And my outfit is so shit.
Guys, we just landed, it was so hot, the flight went so smoothly, I literally slept like almost all the way through. We're in Morocco, it is boiling, oh my goodness. Can't wait to catch a tan, I'm ready to, to be honest, I actually just want to sleep all day, but yeah. Chef, chef, est-ce qu'il y a du citron Non, pas pour moi, pas pour moi. Non, non, citron, s'il te plaît. Coupé. Je fais pas de deuxième shot. Non. Mais il y aura le citron, c'est bon. Non, je peux pas. This is a, like a chicken. Is it like a chicken? Ah, c'est un peu de poussière. Oui, j'en sais. Poussière de poulet, non, elle se plaît. Je pense que c'est un peu sucré. Ah bon Je pense
guys, we just got to Buddha Bar. We're literally gonna go for a lunch. My outfit, I got this top from New York. This is from IMG. My heels are Bottega. My little vintage Fendi bag. I got these cute little earrings from this head, this stylist in Paris that came through last minute. Shout out to K Y O J I J I N O. I think his Instagram is. But yeah, we're gonna go in now. So I'll catch up with you guys in literally the next slide. So guys, I am just getting ready to go to Nikki Beach. I look crazy right now. I'm really annoyed because I forgot to bring my charger. I forgot my iPhone charger and I forgot my um I forgot my camera charger. So my camera's about to die. Hopefully I can find like a Samsung charger or something so I can charge my camera and carry on the vlog. If not, I'm just gonna have to vlog on my phone. Um but yeah we the like group that we came with has all left now I'm literally here with my boyfriend we're gonna stay here for like an extra day just because um so yeah I just really wanna my main goal today is to catch like a tan so yeah I'm just using this YSL um blush you know what I think I'm just gonna use use my hands because I just feel like the pigment's going on the thing See, that's better this is the world's worst lighting oh yeah we're staying at the christian ronaldo hotel we end up checking it we ended up checking in it's nice it's chill it's clean it's modern can't really go wrong so yeah we're just literally i'm literally ready now i'm just tapping my blush 